Chapman with Carlson Energy and welcome to LAGCO 2013. We're here in Lafayette, Louisiana and I'm standing in front of the Cajun Dome right here on campus of Louisiana Tech University. We're going to take a look here quickly at a Synergy Wireline truck and specifically we're going to address the brake system that's on the wireline system here on this truck. Let's come aboard. Behind me, you'll see the wireline drum and the braking system. This system uses disc brake systems versus your traditional drum brake system. Several advantages are included with the disc brakes, including a quicker stop, more heat dissipation, universal stop both directions, and easier to ma uh, maintain and adjust. Let's look at the brake system on this wireline truck. You'll notice the rotor is a large rotor mounted onto the drum itself. Next, you'll see the caliper brake. This is the braking system used on this system. You'll notice the brake pads located right here. Much easier to access than brakes available on a, wire, on a band brake system. The brakes are actually pinned with the shoes. You have stainless steel pins on both sides. And there's a pin, a bobby pin on the bottom. You remove that, remove the stainless steel pin, and the shoe comes right off. So removal and replacement of the friction disc is much easier. This is a self-centering brake, meaning that there's no centering uh, required. It centers itself. This is a spring-applied air release brake. It's the Carlson Energy 7305 brake. Let's take a quick look at the Carlson Energy 7503 brake and the four easy steps it requires to make a complete brake adjustment. Step one, remove the pin to rotate the piston out. Step two, remove the air supply. Step three, rotate the piston in a clockwise position to extend the wear adjustment screw. Step four, place the air supply back, rotate it back into place, and you've done a complete brake wear adjustment. Let's look at what makes the Carlson Energy Brake such a great brake in the field. With fewer parts in the Carlson Energy Brake, it's much easier to maintain and use in the field. There's basically only three moving parts. You have a piston, the arms, and the shoes. All easily accessible by the user in the field. You'll notice the piston design it uses no diaphragm. It's a steel, stainless steel piston design. It's a self-centering, free-floating design, meaning that there's no reason to measure on both sides of the pad to make sure that the brake is centered properly. And third, this is a spring-applied air release brake, meaning that this brake's normal position is going to be closed. So it's a safety brake. It's going to hold when there's no air available. Lastly, this brake is the easiest brake in the industry to do modifications and maintenance on.